Hello everybody. It's got here at Eyeblaze Northwest. Just thought I'd quickly jump on. I'm going to run through my Geek Vape Aegis Mini Kit we've used today. So, as usual, it comes in the uh, normal Geek Vape packaging, as you could probably guess. The normal boxing. Slides out, as you can see. And you slide your base off. It's got security tags on there, so you can make sure no one's opened it yet. And going on from there, there's normally it's tank in there and the mod in there. But obviously I took it out to show you. In this side, we have a spare glass, we have all the spare seals, there's a spare little bit to go into the charging port. You know, all the usual build stuff. And then um, we have a charging cable as usual. Going from there, you have your user manual. It is a 2mm tank, it says on the user manual. You can't go wrong. But going on from there, this is the mod itself. So, first few, sorry, first few things you'll need to know about the mod. So, just like on the rest of them, it is a... Um, Extremely durable mod. It's waterproof and it's dustproof as usual. IPv67, I believe it's called. This one has a built-in 2,200 milliamp hour battery. For such a small mod, is a really good built-in battery. Running an AS80 chipset, which is a really, really good chipset. Variable power from up to between 5 watts and 80 watts. Like I say, it's an animal. So to start with, it comes with the Cerebus tank here, as you can see. 2 mil top fill. You just pop off, fill down the sides pop on, simple as that. It runs a 30 to 40 in there and you can get a 60 to 80 watt mesh coil for it so you can get a really long lasting coil. As usual you have a really heavy duty 510 connector, screws in it so you can get inside and uh, like I say it's completely waterproof. This was one of the, like the Aegis Legend, this is the Aegis Mini, it takes an absolute beating, uh, it should last you a good long time. Get a very good airflow there which as you can see gives you a nice and wide, great flavour, great, great sort of smooth hit and all that sort of stuff. And going from there, built into an uh, 2200, like I said, in terms of battery life, runs a normal Aegis screen. I know it's flickering, but that's just because it's on the camera. But yeah, variable power all the way up to 80 watts, which is more than enough, as you can see. 80 watts in terms of power. Venting holes at the bottom, and then it has a, a cover for the charging port, which is very relevant, like I say, because it's waterproof. You need to make sure that's on there when, when you're, you know, if you're going to get it wet. Obviously, don't try to. Using the same. Um, army grade leather here built really well nice and big screws should last a good while great piece of kit nice and small a lot smaller than the Aegis Legend and the original Aegis and you can't go wrong other than that cheers for watching and have a lovely day bye bye